located between the Pacific Ocean and the Caribbean Sea, Costa Rica, officially called the Republic of Costa Rica, stands as one of the most vibrant countries in Central America, attracting over 4.5 million people every year. Commonly known as the Land of the Fire, this small country contains 5% of the world's biodiversity, from the misty cloud forests of Monte Verde to the pristine shores of Manuel Antonio, here are the 25 best places to visit in Costa Rica. 25. Uvita Uvita, located in the South Pacific region of Costa Rica, is a town situated along Bahia Ballena, named after the humpback whales that migrate to this area twice each year. Uvita itself is a small relaxed town where local businesses line both paved and unpaved roads under a canopy of trees. It's recognized as a blue zone where a significant number of centenarians live, attributed to healthy lifestyle practices. Marino Ballena National Park stands out among the places to visit with beautiful beaches like Playa Uvita, while Playa Grande is known for its consistent surf and stunning sunsets. The Uvita waterfall offers a cool, refreshing break in the rainforest. Nearby, Ojo Chal is noted for its art galleries and restaurants, offering a serene atmosphere. Whale watching is a highlight, with the opportunity to see humpback whales during their migration periods. The whale's tail at Playa Uvita is a unique geological formation and a national symbol. Surfing at Playa Grande is popular due to its excellent waves, and the hiking trails in Marino Ballena National Park lead to waterfalls and secluded beaches. 24. Tamarindo Tamarindo is a lively beach town attracting visitors with its diverse array of attractions and activities. It's a standout feature, characterized by a horseshoe-shaped bay surrounded by palm trees and the expansive Pacific Ocean. The town benefits from a dry climate and consistent sunshine, making it an appealing destination throughout the year. Some key places to visit include Playa Tamarindo, known for its surfing opportunities suitable for beginners and intermediate surfers, alongside the chance to enjoy sunbathing and witness stunning sunsets. Las Baulas National Marine Park provides a unique opportunity to observe leatherback turtles nesting, while the Tamarindo Wildlife Refuge invites exploration of its mangrove ecosystems, home to diverse wildlife such as monkeys and crocodiles. Tamarindo has evolved from a quiet fishing village into a popular tourist destination, while maintaining its relaxed atmosphere. The nightlife is lively, and the local cuisine is a highlight, featuring fresh seafood and traditional Costa Rican dishes such as gallo pinto. The ethos of Pura Vida, translating to pure life, captures the essence of the Tamarindo lifestyle, emphasizing a relaxed and joyful approach to life. So engaging with the local culture enriches the experience, whether through attending traditional dance performances or learning Spanish phrases. 23. Santa Teresa Santa Teresa is a beach town haven for anyone looking to relax amid natural beauty. Located on the Pacific coast, Santa Teresa is surrounded by several beautiful beaches. Originally a small fishing village, Santa Teresa has evolved into a popular tourist destination, known for its eco-conscious initiatives and waste reduction programs. Here, you have a variety of places to explore. The Kuru Wildlife Refuge offers a chance to learn about and interact with rescued animals. For a different experience, the Land and Sea Park provides opportunities for horseback riding on the beach, exploring tide pools, and enjoying ocean views. Santa Teresa is not just about surfing. The town has a vibrant yoga community with numerous classes, retreats, and workshops. Stand-up paddleboarding is another popular activity, allowing visitors to explore the coastline and mangrove forests. Sunset cruises offer a memorable way to end the day, with stunning views as the sun sets over the ocean. A practical tip for you is to rent a bike or ATV, allowing for independent exploration of the area, discovering hidden beaches, local restaurants, and shops at a leisurely pace. 22. Samara Samara captures the essence of a laid-back lifestyle. Founded in the 1960s by American surfers and named after the native Samara tree, the town is cradled in a small bay, with Playa Samara as its central beach. The main beach, Playa Samara, is a haven for you to relax and engage in water sports. Isla Cora, a short distance away, is a wildlife reserve with pink sand beaches and a habitat for various bird species, while the Buena Vista Estuary is a sanctuary for crocodiles, herons, and other wildlife. Samara's town center, Central Samara, is the heart of local life. The area is not only a draw for beachgoers, but also for you to experience the local culture and cuisine. Beyond the well-known attractions, Samara offers hidden gems such as Playa Barrigona, a secluded beach known for its stunning rock formations and tide pools, and Sipanqui Waterfall, a hidden cascade within the rainforest. 
and the Samara Farmer's Market is a place to find fresh produce, local crafts, and souvenirs, showcasing the town's commitment to sustainability and the Pura Vida lifestyle. 21. Rincón de la Vieja National Park Rincón de la Vieja National Park, located in the Guanacaste province of northwestern Costa Rica, offers an area of over 34,000 acres. The park's name is derived from a local legend about an old woman who lived in the crater of the volcano. In fact, this region is defined by its two active volcanoes, Rincón de la Vieja, the oldest and largest volcano in Guanacaste, and Santa Maria, along with the dormant Cerro Von Sibac. The park is divided into sectors, with the Las Pailas sector being home to some of the park's most popular attractions. The La Pailas Trail, a one and a half mile path, winds past phenomena like steaming mud pots and the turquoise waters of Laguna Azul. If you're seeking a more strenuous activity, the Von Seebach Trail is a four mile hike leading to the summit of Cerro Von Seebach, rewarding hikers with panoramic views. The Santa Maria sector offers a quieter experience. Attractions here include the Enchanted Forest Waterfall, a 30-foot cascade surrounded by lush vegetation, and Laguna de los Gilgueros, a crater lake ideal for birdwatching and hiking. You can engage in a variety of activities within the park. Horseback riding and whitewater rafting on the Rio Negro offer different ways to explore the park's natural beauty. Conversely, the natural hot springs provide a relaxing way to unwind after a day of activities. 20. Quepos Quepos, a lively town, is more than a tourist destination. It's a place where everyone can enjoy. Quepos was named after the indigenous Huetar people, who once lived in the area. It played a significant role in the banana trade in the early 20th century. The main attraction in Quepos is Manuel Antonio National Park, where you can hike through rainforests, relax on secluded beaches, and enjoy coastal views. Marino Ballena National Park is another highlight where you can see humpback whales between December and April. Explore coves and beaches and kayak through mangrove forests teeming with life. Quepos is renowned for sport fishing, offering chances to catch marlin, tuna, and other big fish. Zip lining and canopy tours offer an adrenaline rush and spectacular views of the surrounding. 19. Puerto Viejo Puerto Viejo de Talamanca sits on the southeastern Caribbean coast of Costa Rica in the Limon province. Founded in the 1860s by Jamaican immigrants, Puerto Viejo is a melting pot of cultures. Spanish is the official language, yet many residents also speak English and Bribri. It's surrounded by the Gandoca Manzanillo National Wildlife Refuge, a protected area offering a diverse range of natural attractions. Among its natural attractions, Playa Negra stands out with its distinctive black sand, attracting surfers, swimmers, and sunbathers alike. Salsa Brava, another highlight, offers some of the most powerful waves in the world, drawing surf enthusiasts from across the globe. Then, the Jaguar Rescue Center provides an opportunity to see the rehabilitation and release of injured and orphaned wildcats and other animals, offering a closer look at the region's wildlife. Cahuita National Park is renowned for its coral reef and the shipwreck dive site, offering unique underwater experiences, while the Talamanca Indigenous Reserve introduces you to the culture and traditions of the Bribri and Cabecar indigenous communities, providing a deep dive into the area's rich culture. 18. Nosara Nosara, a district and village on the Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica's Guanacaste province, is recognized as one of the blue zones, where residents tend to live longer, healthier lives. The village is situated approximately six kilometers inland from the beach, a decision that helps preserve the coastline's natural beauty. The beaches in Nosara are a highlight for visitors. Surfers find a paradise here with some of the world's most consistent waves. The village has attracted a diverse community of expats, including surfers, yogis, and artists, since its founding in the 1970s by surfers seeking a quieter life. Playa Guiones caters to beginners and intermediates, while Playa Pelada offers more challenging waves. Playa Ostional is notable for being a nesting site for olive ridley turtles from July to December, providing a unique opportunity to witness this natural phenomenon. You can take guided tours to learn about turtle conservation. Additionally, the Bodhi Tree Yoga Resort is renowned for its yoga classes, workshops, and retreats, providing a serene environment for relaxation and rejuvenation. 17. Montezuma 
Montezuma attracts a diverse crowd of visitors, seeking tranquility, adventure, and a connection with nature. The geography of Montezuma is remarkable, with its location on the Nicoya Peninsula. Despite its name suggesting a connection to Aztec Emperor Montezuma II, the town's historical ties are more myth than reality, with the name likely inspired by the perceived wealth of the area by Spanish conquistadors. Attractions such as the Cabo Blanco Nature Reserve highlight the area's commitment to preserving its natural wonders. You can hike through varied trails, enjoy sightings of local wildlife, and experience stunning coastal views. The presence of Playa Nudista, a clothing-optional beach, highlights the town's open and accepting nature. The phenomenon of bioluminescent plankton lighting up the ocean at night provides a surreal experience, best enjoyed on a kayak tour under the stars. And the local markets in Montezuma are a reflection of its cultural vitality, offering artisanal crafts, artwork, and local cuisine, allowing you to immerse themselves in the community's creative spirit. 16. Monteverde Packing for a trip to Monteverde means preparing for an experience unlike any other. This destination, located in Costa Rica's Punta Arenas province within the Cordillera de Tilaran mountain range, is a four-hour drive from the Central Valley. The area, known as the Green Mountain, is a testament to its lush, verdant landscape, dominated by the iconic cloud forests that define its horizon. At an elevation of 4,662 feet, the views of rolling green hills and valleys are nothing short of breathtaking. The founding of Monteverde in the 1950s by Quaker families aimed at preserving this delicate ecosystem has left a lasting legacy of environmental stewardship. The altitude of Monteverde creates a unique microclimate. Cool temperatures and frequent misty clouds are the norm here, fostering a thriving ecosystem within the cloud forest. The Monteverde Cloud Forest Biological Reserve stands out as a primary attraction. This reserve spans over 25,000 acres, protecting a vast expanse of cloud forest teeming with life. It offers trails like the Sandero Pantanillo for those preferring moderate hikes and the Bosque Nuboso Trail for more challenging treks. Close by, the Santa Elena Cloud Forest Reserve provides a more personal encounter with nature, offering its own unique trails and breathtaking views. Selvatura Park introduces a dose of adventure with zip lining and hanging bridges, while the Monteverde Orchid Garden and the Bat Jungle offer more serene experiences, showcasing the region's diverse orchid species and a nocturnal exhibit of bats, respectively. 15. Manuel Antonio National Park Manuel Antonio National Park is a slice of paradise, located about 130 kilometers south of San Jose. Established in 1972, the park plays a crucial role in conservation and serves as a significant economic driver for the region through tourism. This park, though compact, encompasses 683 hectares of where monkeys swing from the trees, Sloths lounge in the canopy, iguanas sun themselves on rocks, and hundreds of bird species fill the air with their calls. Despite its size, Manuel Antonio National Park is one of Costa Rica's most beloved parks. Among the must-visit spots within the park, the Manuel Antonio Nature Trail, known for its stunning coastal views, winds through the rainforest, offering glimpses of the area's biodiversity. La Playita, a small and secluded beach, provides a quiet escape from the more frequented spots. Nearby, Punta Catedral, with its rocky outcrops, offers panoramic views of the surrounding park and ocean, while Espadilla Sur attracts surfers with strong waves. If you're looking to delve deeper into the park's offerings, there are hidden gems like the La Selva Trail, less crowded yet equally captivating with its views, and the Manuel Antonio Waterfalls offer a refreshing retreat, while Middle Coop's Trail leads to a secluded beach rarely visited by tourists. 14. La Fortuna Heading to La Fortuna, you're stepping into a realm under the Arenal Volcano's majestic presence. This spot in the northern highlands of Costa Rica is a couple of hours northwest of San Jose. Surrounded by the Arenal Volcano National Park, it features the active Arenal Volcano, the dormant Chato Volcano, and the expansive Lake Arenal, setting the stage for a variety of water activities and breathtaking views. Arenal Volcano's unexpected eruption in 1968 marked a pivotal moment for La Fortuna, transforming it into a destination rich in natural wonders. The geothermal activity of the Tabacón River creates inviting hot springs, each with its unique temperature and mineral content. In La Fortuna, the Arenal Volcano itself offers hiking and biking through the national park, with opportunities to see lava flows at night or relax in the natural hot springs of the Tabacón River. Another highlight is the La Fortuna Waterfall, a 230-foot fall that cascades into a refreshing pool, perfect for a swim after a hike through the rainforest. 
The mystical hanging bridges present an aerial view of the forest, allowing close encounters with diverse wildlife, while the Maleku cultural experience provides insights into the life and traditions of the indigenous Maleku people. For the optimal experience, visiting La Fortuna during the dry season, from December to April, ensures sunny days filled with outdoor activities. Additionally, learning some basic Spanish phrases can enrich interactions with locals, making the trip even more memorable. 13. Jaco You're on your way down the Costa Rican coast, a mere hour and a half from San Jose, and you arrive in Jaco. Once a small fishing village, Jaco has evolved into a major tourist destination. Its name, derived from the indigenous word Yaco, meaning water, reflects its coastal essence. The town is celebrated for its Pura Vida lifestyle, emphasizing a laid-back approach to life. The beach stretches for miles, with black sand underfoot, inviting visitors to surf, swim, or simply enjoy the sun. The town of Hako is lively, its main street filled with shops, restaurants, and bars. It's developed, yet retains a charm that draws people from all walks of life. Nearby, natural wonders such as Carrara National Park offer glimpses of diverse wildlife, including crocodiles and scarlet macaws, while Manuel Antonio National Park is renowned for its beautiful beaches and rainforests. Hako Beach stands out as the central hub ideal for surfing or soaking in the atmosphere. Hermosa Beach, just south, caters to surfers looking for bigger waves. For a unique experience, Bihagual Waterfall in Pura Vida Park is a hidden gem worth visiting. Nightlife in Hako is lively, with bars, clubs, and live music venues providing entertainment into the early hours. 12. Drake Bay Drake Bay is a remote haven known to be accessible only by plane or boat. Its isolation adds to the charm, ensuring a peaceful escape in Agujitas, a nearby town with around a thousand residents. The area stands out as one of the most biodiverse places on Earth, with Drake Bay positioned at its heart. The bay carries a historical allure, named after Sir Francis Drake, who's rumored to have hidden treasure in the area during his 16th century voyages. Among the must-visit sites is Corcovado National Park. Its hiking trails lead through environments rich with animal species. The Sirena Ranger Station, accessible by hike or kayak, provides a closer look at the area's untouched beauty and elusive wildlife. Drake Bay's less explored attractions include Punta Rio Claro National Wildlife Refuge, offering trails through rainforest to secluded beaches, and a chance to see wildlife such as sloths and crocodiles. The remote Sirena Biological Station showcases conservation efforts and hosts unique species like the Baird's Tapir. Night tours provide a glimpse into the forest nocturnal life, featuring creatures like tree frogs, owls, kinkajus, and agoutis. Committed to sustainable tourism, Drake Bay's eco-lodges and tour operators focus on environmental protection and supporting local communities. 11. Dominical Traveling down Costa Rica's southern Pacific coast leads you to Dominical, a small beach town located about 80 kilometers south of Manuel Antonio National Park. Dominical's transformation from a small fishing village to a tourist destination has been significant. The town's name derives from Domingo, a Spanish missionary who arrived in the 16th century. The main attraction, Playa Dominical, is renowned for its consistent waves, drawing surfers of varying skill levels. Close by, the Ballena National Marine Park serves as a protective haven for an array of marine life, providing visitors with the opportunity to observe these creatures in their natural setting through boat tours. Another notable site is the Naoyaka Waterfalls, accessible via hike through the rainforest, offering a picturesque spot for swimming and photography. Playa Dominicalito, a quieter beach compared to its more popular counterpart, offers a more relaxed atmosphere. The hidden waterfall, Catarata El Salto, provides a secluded spot for a refreshing swim. La Catarata Ecológica, an eco-lodge, offers breathtaking views of the rainforest and sustainable activities like zip lining and butterfly watching. 10. Corcovado National Park Corcovado National Park, a jewel on the Osa Peninsula, unfolds over 424 square kilometers, guarding a significant portion of this lush area. This park, located in the southwest corner of Costa Rica, stretches its Pacific coastline over 46 kilometers, creating a sanctuary for both beach lovers and wildlife watchers. Corcovado's significance extends beyond its beauty. Hosting 4% of the world's known animal species, it's a critical biodiversity spot. With over half of its expanse still uncharted, Corcovado represents a frontier for exploration and conservation, underscoring Costa Rica's dedication to protecting its natural heritage. The park sets the stage for an array of activities and sites. Ranger stations serve as entry points to the wilderness. Sirena Biological Station, accessible only by boat or plane, 
offers rustic accommodations amid dense rainforest, promising an immersive experience. La Leona Station, on the other hand, provides easy beach access and a variety of trails. Bird watchers gravitate towards Los Patos Station, where a lagoon teams with bird life, and San Pedrillo Ranger Station presents opportunities for rainforest hikes and beach relaxation. 9. Chiripo National Park Chiripo National Park, situated in the Talamanca mountain range, is the country's largest national park, covering over 123,544 acres. This expansive park spans a range of elevations from 2,953 feet to 12,533 feet at the summit of Cerro Chiripo, Costa Rica's highest mountain and the second highest in Central America. The park encompasses five distinct life zones. The summit of Cerro Chiripo, the park's primary highlight, offers breathtaking views of both the Pacific and Atlantic oceans on clear days. The challenging hike to the summit rewards hikers with unparalleled vistas. Along the way, Llano Bornito offers a resting spot with basic shelter and camping facilities. Nearby, El Paraíso, the main shelter for hikers, provides bunks, a kitchen, and restrooms. Other natural attractions include Laguna Vargas, a stunning glacial lake near the summit, and Los Crestones, remarkable rock formations that provide panoramic views of the Talamanca Range. The park is a favored destination for outdoor activities, such as hiking, with trails that cater to varying skill levels and fishing, is also permitted in some of the park's rivers and lakes. 8. Cartajo Cartajo is located in Costa Rica's Central Valley. It was once the nation's capital and is now known as Ciudad de las Brumas, or City of Mists, a name derived from the frequent volcanic clouds surrounding its peaks. It's marked by the presence of Irazú Volcano, the country's highest active peak providing breathtaking vistas. Its proximity to San Jose, just a 30-minute drive away, makes Cartajo a convenient escape from the capital's faster pace. Among the must-visit sites, the Basilica of Our Lady of the Angels stands out. This basilica houses La Negrita, a small, dark-skinned Madonna statue, attracting millions of pilgrims each August. Nearby, the ruins of the Santiago Apostol Parish Church offer a glimpse into the city's colonial past while the Lancaster Botanical Garden is home to over 1,500 species of orchids, presenting a colorful and fragrant array of flowers. The city's coffee legacy dates back to the 18th century, with local farms offering insights into the bean-to-brew process. Despite the 1963 eruption of Irazú Volcano, which blanketed San Jose in ash, Cartajo was spared, highlighting its unique resilience. And festivals like Los Gigantes, featuring giant papier-mâché figures, reflect the vibrant local culture. 7. Cajuita Cajuita sits on Costa Rica's Caribbean coast, close to the Panamanian border. This charming village offers a laid-back vibe and features a blend of Afro-Caribbean and indigenous influences. Cajuita's culture dates back to its founding by an Afro-Caribbean family in 1828. The village is small, characterized by a relaxed atmosphere and friendly locals. The heart of Cajuita is its national park, which encompasses both land and sea. The park protects a diverse ecosystem. Visitors can hike through the rainforest, relax on beaches like Playa Blanca, or snorkel among colorful coral reefs teeming with marine life. Another notable beach is Playa Negra, distinguished by its black volcanic sand and popular among surfers for its challenging waves. Just a short drive north, Puerto Viejo de Talamanca presents a lively atmosphere. The town is known for its Caribbean cuisine and vibrant nightlife. Its deep connection to Calypso music has earned it the title King of Calypso. For the best experience, visiting Cajuita during the dry season, from March to May, or September to November, is advisable. The community's commitment to sustainable practices and ecotourism underscores its appeal as a responsible travel destination. 6. Cabo Blanco Nature Reserve Cabo Blanco Nature Reserve, on the southern tip of Costa Rica's Nicoya Peninsula, is the country's first protected area, established in 1963. This place initiated Costa Rica's renowned commitment to conservation. The reserve covers 3,393 acres, stretching for two miles, providing stunning ocean views. You can explore the reserve through hiking trails, such as a 2.5-mile Sueco Trail or the shorter Danes Trail, which leads through different landscapes and offer chances to see hidden waterfalls and impressive ocean vistas. At the end of the Sueco Trail, Playa Blanco awaits as a perfect spot for swimming or sunbathing with its calm waters and picturesque setting. Although not accessible by public trails, Playa Cuevas on the reserve's western side is a secluded beach offering a more untouched experience for more adventurous explorers. Cabo Blanco has been influential in pioneering ecotourism in Costa Rica, demonstrating the benefits of conservation and sustainable tourism. The reserve's establishment by Swedish philanthropist Olaf Westberg underscores its historical significance and his vision of creating a sanctuary for future generations. 5. Arenal Volcano National Park 
Located in the north central region of Costa Rica, Arenal Volcano National Park is a standout destination. Near the town of La Fortuna, this park is home to the Arenal Volcano, recognized as the most active volcano in Costa Rica, alongside Lake Arenal, the largest lake in the country. Central to the park is the Arenal Volcano. Its active state allows you to witness nature's raw power with frequent ash and lava displays. Trails such as La Fortuna and the 1968 Trail offer pathways to closer views of this natural marvel. Lake Arenal complements the volcanic landscape, offering a serene setting with several resorts dotting its shores for your relaxation alongside nature. For a different perspective, the Mystico Hanging Bridges presents an aerial view of the park's verdant ecosystems through a series of suspended bridges. Similarly, the La Fortuna Waterfall, with its impressive 230-foot drop, invites visitors to swim in its refreshing pool. The Tabacón Hot Springs, naturally heated by volcanic activity, provide a relaxing soak in variously tempered pools, enhancing the experience with amenities like a swim-up bar and a restaurant. The exhilaration of whitewater rafting, the tranquility of a boat tour on Lake Arenal, and the thrill of zip lining through the rainforest canopy offer unique experiences in nature. The Mystico Hanging Bridges further enrich the visit by providing insights into the ecosystem's complexity. 4. Alajuela Alajuela, tucked within Costa Rica's Central Valley, offers a unique experience for travelers. As the capital of Alajuela province and part of the greater metropolitan area, it's often overlooked due to its proximity to San Jose. The climate is predominantly tropical, featuring warm temperatures and a rainy season from May to November that nourishes its vibrant ecosystem. Alajuela's heart is best experienced in places like Juan Santa Maria Park, where the red-domed central church stands as a landmark. The statue of Juan Santa Maria commemorates a national hero, and the Alejandro Morero Soto Stadium is a gathering place for sports fans. The Alajuela Central Market offers a glimpse into local life, with its array of handcrafted souvenirs and fresh produce. Alajuela has earned several nicknames reflecting its identity, including the Land of Mangoes, due to its abundance of the fruit. It's also recognized for its rich literary heritage, evidenced by a high number of public libraries, and the presence of traditional ox-drawn carts highlight its cultural significance. 3. Cocos Island Cocos Island, or Isla del Coco, stands 342 miles off the Pacific coast of Costa Rica, alone atop the Cocos Plate. This unique positioning contributes to its status as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mountainous terrain dominates, with Cerro Iglesias, the highest peak, reaching 1,800 feet. For you, Chatham Bay serves as the main entry point, offering access to stunning beaches, hiking trails, and historical sites, including a cemetery and inscription rocks. Wafer Bay and Manuelita Island provide further exploration opportunities, with the former known for excellent snorkeling and diving, and the latter for its importance as a seabird nesting ground. Cocos Island's significance extends beyond its shores, serving as a critical habitat for sharks, including resident populations of hammerheads and the elusive oceanic white tip. The island is also home to over 2,000 plant species, many of which are endemic, highlighting its role as a sanctuary for biodiversity. Visiting Cocos Island, you must navigate logistical challenges, including obtaining permits and preparing for the island's remote location and conservation status. Despite the potential for rough seas and limited amenities, the island's natural beauty and the promise of adventure make the journey worthwhile. 2. Tortuguero National Park Tortuguero National Park, located in the northeastern region of Costa Rica, is a complex network of waterways, all intertwined by lush rainforest. This unique park, shaped by ancient volcanic activity, is only accessible by boat or plane, adding a sense of mystery. Tortuguero National Park, named after the green sea turtle, plays a crucial role in the conservation of these and other endangered turtle species. The park's environment is rich and humid, thanks to an annual waterfall of 250 inches, fostering a lush habitat. It stands as one of the most biodiverse regions on Earth, a paradise for bird watchers and nature enthusiasts. Tortuguero is recognized for its remarkable biodiversity, encompassing 11 distinct habitats ranging from mangrove forests to freshwater swamps. The park is famed for the spectacle of green turtles and leatherback turtles nesting on its beaches from July to October. Night tours offer a respectful way to witness this natural event. The network of canals presents opportunities for boat tours, where visitors can spot diverse wildlife in a quiet setting. You're encouraged to respect the park's guidelines to preserve its natural beauty and wildlife. Some responsible wildlife watching practices are to observe animals from a distance without causing disturbance, which is essential for the well-being of Tortuguero's diverse inhabitants. 1. San Jose San Jose, the capital of Costa Rica, holds the title of the largest city in the country, enveloped by green mountains and majestic volcanoes such as Irazú and Poaz. San Jose is affectionately known as the City of Flowers, reflecting its floral abundance throughout the year. 
This city's unique setting in the Central Valley provides a climate with cool nights and warm days, thanks to its elevation of 3,845 feet. Exploring San Jose offers a blend of historical and natural attractions. Barrio Amon, a historic neighborhood, showcases colonial-era architecture, alongside a vibrant street art scene, inviting you to soak in the local atmosphere. The Teatro Nacional stands out for its neoclassical architecture, serving as a monument and venue for performances and cultural events. And the Museo Nacional de Costa Rica presents a comprehensive look at the country's history, featuring pre-Columbian artifacts and colonial art. For a taste of local life, the Central Market is a hub of activity, with its array of fresh produce, flowers, handicrafts, and traditional foods. The city's lesser-known attractions provide unique experiences. Barrio Escalante has emerged as a gastronomic destination with its selection of restaurants and cafes. The Museo de Jade displays an impressive collection of pre-Columbian jade artifacts, offering insights into the region's ancient cultures. The Juan Santa Maria Coffee Tour educates visitors on the coffee-making process, from bean to cup. Additionally, the National Gallery, located in a former prison, showcases contemporary Costa Rican art. The city's atmosphere is a reflection of Costa Rica's ranking as one of the happiest countries globally, characterized by a positive and relaxed lifestyle. While San Jose is considered safe, you're advised to exercise caution in crowded areas, ensuring a pleasant experience in this dynamic city. If you're looking for any tips to enhance your own personal travel and help you manage your travel budget more effectively, click the link in the description. And remember to like and subscribe to help our channel grow.